Washington gets a pretty bad rap. Most people wouldn't drive through here without a Bible, a prayer, and a bulletproof vest. And the DP is uh, no longer armed with a knife. I don't think any police officer, um, you know, signs up to do this job to quote unquote have an easy day. It's the birthplace of gangster rap and the burial ground for thousands of gang members. And this guy kind of fits the description. His hands are all like marked up. This is the new Compton. Give me one myth out there. That you're gonna get murdered, that you're gonna go out and get killed, you're gonna go out and get shot at. That's not the case. But make no mistake, this is still a dangerous place. Sheriff Jim McDonald and his team of deputies are hell-bent on cleaning up Compton. Every deputy here is, is here because they want to be here. These deputies that work the streets in Compton uh, earn the same amount of money as our deputies that work some of our more affluent areas. Anthony Federico is one of those deputies. I love it here. I couldn't see myself uh, any, you know, working anywhere else. And Deputy Federico is giving me a rare look at a life on the beat in LA's most notorious city. A lot of these people here are good working, you know, hard working people that are trying to do the right thing and have a better life for their family. Gonzalo Jaime is one of those good people. He runs a restaurant in the heart of Compton. Trust me, Compton has changed. It's not the same Compton that they used to. And Gonzalo says it all started the day the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department took charge. When we changed uh, to Sheriff Department, in fact, we did. We saw the change, and it was for a good. But keeping the people here safe isn't easy. It's pretty scary, you know, coming to work with a you know, target on your back already. Just look what happens minutes into our ride along, a major drug bust. We have a 357 Magnum, uh, which was loaded, five rounds revolver, some tar heroin, and a little bit over an ounce of methamphetamine. A short time later. 25 David, you buy 25 David. A suspect is arrested on an outstanding warrant for taking a car. I'm not even doing nothing, man. And tonight, Deputy Federico is being extra cautious. Recently, a murder happened right here, and the suspect is still on the loose. Anybody in the area that fits a particular description we're kind of looking at, we're looking for a murder suspect as well. So. Then, Deputy Federico rolls up on a suspicious cargo van. I'm gonna check them out. There's like three or four guys sitting all in the front seat. It's kind of weird, so. Within minutes, the men in the van are in handcuffs. Shaking down cargo vans can be dangerous here, but this is a good night. After checking these guys out, they come up clean and they're set free. You know, I don't come to work every day wishing to shoot somebody or, you know, um, or to get in a fight with anybody. I don't, I don't, I just want to come to work and do my job. And, you know, if somebody has to go to jail, they're going to go to jail. This is one of the most infamous crime scenes in Compton. Rap mogul Suge Knight accused of running over and killing a man. That was caught on tape. Knight is now sitting behind bars awaiting trial. So a lot of these people are here, you know, they're real good people and, you know, they're hard workers, but a lot of times they don't want to get involved because they're in fear of retaliation. That's really frustrating because we want to, we're here to help them out. And deputies know they need the help of the people who live here as much as the people of Compton need law and order. If we have a good relationship with them and, and a trust and we build a, build a good rapport with them to help solve some of these crimes. Although the movie straight out of Compton has propelled the myth about this city, these brave deputies lay their lives on the line to make sure anyone heading straight into Compton stays safe. <laughs> to the bad guys and to the bad girls walking the streets of the city of Compton, Captain, you say what to them? You better get right, because we're serious about cleaning up the city, making the city safe. And if you're not right, we're coming after you. At the end of the day, you know, my safety comes first, and I'm going to have to do what I have to do to survive and make sure I can get home safely to my family. <laughs>